It's just two weeks into the season, and the Louisville Fire have established that they've arrived, and in 2008 will settle for nothing less than perfection. At Tuesday's practice in Freedom Hall, Fire Offensive Coordinator Anthony Payton continued to work on fine-tuning his already potent offense, and the fans seem to have caught on as well. In the season opener against Iowa, not only did the Louisville Fire outdraw the Baltimore Orioles in their home opener, but they jumped out to a 30 to nothing lead and never looked back, dominating the Iowa Barnstormers 58-28. Last week, the Fire traveled to Albany, Georgia to battle the always good South Georgia Wildcats, a team that embarrassed them last season 53-77. Asked Louisville Fire nose guard Demetrius Forney what the win in Albany meant to the Fire. We got a great group of talented guys that we got here this year. Thanks to Coach Evie and uh, Peyton and Coach Johnson. And uh, we just feel real good about this season. Uh, we went down to South Georgia. Got a good quality win. Uh, last year, they kind of embarrassed us real bad. But uh, we came back and redeemed ourselves. And uh, we just ready for to come in and get a good victory. Through some key offseason acquisitions, the Fire have amped up an already good offense, and it shows, boasting the league's second best total offense. So, what's behind the early success of the Fire? I asked Coach Tommy Johnson. I've learned that we have a pretty decent team. They're young, but they know how to fight, they know how to win, and I think it'll only get better throughout the season. I'm pretty excited about that. I do think that our our young players are stepping up to the plate early. It was a good road win for us in that kind of situation because South Georgia is a hostile environment. And uh, for our guys to get in a situation where they're late in the game, they're tied. Uh, at one point we were down. And to keep their head up and keep fighting, you're excited about that because they are so young. I, I, I take away from that a lot of confidence in these young men. Another reason behind the fire success is the dual quarterback threat of rookie Matt Bessiner and Aaron Marshall. Matt, of course, brought in from Georgetown University. And Aaron brought in from Youngstown State. How does Coach Johnson like his two quarterback system? So far, so good. Both of them are playing well. Both of them are doing an outstanding job. They're leading the team, making smart decisions with the football. I know uh, Matt has uh, maybe two or three interceptions. O overall, he's doing uh, the right things with the football, so I'm pretty happy with that. Joining the fire this week is former University of Louisville wide receiver and kick returner Roderick Clark. Well, at Louisville, Broderick ranked third all-time in kick returns for the Cardinals. Broderick joins fellow U of L teammate Jerry Spencer on the Fire roster. Another University of Louisville alum and 2007 Fire standout, Tiger Jones, sliding up the Arena League with the Georgia Force. <laughs> Announced he had arrived with nine catches for 131 yards and four touchdowns. That, of course, adds to the fine roster of former University of Louisville players, now Arena Football League players, to include Louisville's own Will Rabatine, now with the Columbus Destroyers in the Arena League, all making a big impact because of their performance with the Louisville Fire. With 11,000 plus in attendance last week, it's clear that the fan is committed to the Louisville Fire and the quick 2-0 start further validates the Fire are not only committed to bringing you the fan a championship return on your investment, but this team and its fans are ready to break free of that minor league tag and run with the best of the best in the Arena Football League. Fire fullback Demetrius Forney understands while success is the goal, the fan means everything in this game. We love to have our fans out uh, supporting us real good. Uh, it would be a real good huge advantage that come out this weekend to the game. Well, uh, it's first time in Fire history we started out 2-0 since back in uh, 2005, same year we went to the Arena Cup. So uh, me and the other veteran guys, as Matt Forbes and uh, Jerome Jones and uh, some other key guys, uh, feel real good about this season. The Fire look to remain perfect in 2008 when they take on yet another arch enemy, the Quad City Steam Wheelers, Friday night. Kickoff is set for 7.30. Coming to you from Louisville's Freedom Hall, I'm Scott Fitzgerald for WHAS.com.